Over the weekend, the Pequot Lakes Chamber of Commerce held the third annual Bobber Bocce on Ice. Due to the mild weather, it was not able to be held on the ice, but that didn't stop the event from being a fun and memorable day. Reporter Sammy Holliday has more with this week's Northwoods Experience. The Bobber Bocce on Ice tournament was supposed to take place on Sibley Lake, but as many Minnesotans know, this winter has made it challenging for outdoor winter activities. Safety reasons on the lake were a factor for the change of location, but a lack of another winter staple was another reason for the move. It's safety, but also we didn't have any snow. So in order to make lanes for Bobber Bocce, we need to have snow out on the lake, and we just had none. I had toyed around with bringing out 400 pounds of sand out onto the lake, and I thought, my goodness, I just don't know how we're going to get this done. And I'm very fortunate enough to have a great advisory board that just said, nope, put it in the park. And although the event wasn't exactly on the ice, that didn't stop people from having one heck of a time here at Trailside Park. Fun times were enjoying some bocce ball it's an outside entertainment and it's friends make it an annual tradition we got a good thing going the event is held at the perfect time for some just as they get the itch to be outside people love it it's february people are you know the holidays are over it's kind of the time where people want to get out and do something it's the best time of the year to do it in the winter especially because you get everyone out here that just wants to do it a winter activity it is only the third edition of bobber bocce on ice and there are high hopes that this event will continue to grow it's going to be huge i mean every year we get people that are returning back and we also get new teams that come and sign up every single year. We know that it's just going to grow and grow and be something huge every every year. It's just getting bigger. So whether we have it out in the park or if we have it on the lake, people are happy to support it and just have a lot of fun. And we love having it in Pequot because we're able to help support our local businesses. And that's what I'm all about for the chamber is making sure that we can help support our, um, our local and our small businesses. Reporting in Pequot Lakes with this week's Northwoods Experience, Sammy Holiday, Lakeland News. There were 25 teams of four participating in the tournament. A 50-50 raffle was also held with the funds raised being put towards repainting the Bobber Water Tower in Pequot Lakes. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.